Hello, Plymouth Village residents, and welcome residents from other human good communities. I decided to video this section on stretching from a comfortable chair, um, because probably if you are watching this on television, you're probably in a really comfortable chair and you get really cozy, uh, and you just don't feel like moving, right? But what happens? After prolonged sitting, our neck gets tight, our hamstrings get tight, we don't breathe as well, so we get a little tired, uh, and then we sit a little bit more. So um, how about we do some stretching? I'm going to call these simple sit buster stretches, and I'm going to bring my notes with me just in case. I don't want to forget anything. So, but before we get stretching, we need to uh, sort of move a little bit. So. If you can, climb out of that chair, oh, to the edge a little bit. There you go. See, I even brought my slippers. <laughs> so, what do we do? We need to limber up some of the muscles and get the circulation going before we hold some of these stretches. Now, this won't be a long, this won't be very intense stretching. This is just meant to get the circulation going, especially when you stand. You want to make sure there's no uh, blood pooling in the legs that your blood pressure's, um, you know, a little more regulated. You don't want to get a spell of dizziness. So let's warm up. Just start by shrugging your shoulders. A few times. You can kind of do one at a time. Uh, and now roll your shoulders back. So you can see sometimes being in a nice comfy chair, you're a little limited in your motion, but we're going to overcome that, right? And forward. Now, just open and close the hands, get comfy with the legs, rotate your wrists, and reverse. Pump the arms a little bit, kind of stretch a little bit, so you're reaching for something. Oh yeah, that feels good. Now both arms reach and pull. Good. Easy, easy, easy rotation in the trunk. If you can, try to look in both directions, right, left. Nod the head, down, up. Easy, easy, easy on this. Keep your jaw relaxed. Gently look right and left. Again, we're not forcing anything. We're limbering up right now. Big difference between uh, vigorous activity and limbering. And now just to the side, easy, easy head tilt. Start to open up a little more stretchiness in the legs. Just lengthen the knees. <clears throat> doesn't take much to limber up, especially if we're doing some light stretching. All right, so you can reposition. You might find it starts to get a little warm because you've been just sitting, you get cold, and then you start moving. You're like, whoa, what happened? All right, so take the hands, interlace your fingers, and just stretch. Relax. So again, these are meant just to move initially, stretch. So we'll do these a few times, and each time you kind of add a little more of a reach or a stretch in the muscles. You might strengthen, or excuse me, lengthen the elbows a little bit more, and you might also round the back a little bit more. Always try to come up to a natural or neutral spinal position. Good. So again, you should feel that after doing these a few times, you do start to move a little more. Good. Uh, one more time. This time, just hold it. So you're sort of rounding out the arms and then lengthening and then kind of hunkering over and relax. Good. All right. This next one, again, if you have any shoulder issues, be cautious. You can always just take one arm at a time, and what we're going to do is just kind of reach, 
Now, if this is uncomfortable, you can always reach more forward. Now, if you can, reach and up. If that's not comfortable, don't force it. You can also have the elbows a little more bent if that's comfortable. Reach. Almost slid on my little magic carpet here. Reach. Again. And now you are trying to kind of stretch the arms and the torso. It's like you're reaching for something like oof, something up a little bit higher and a little bit more. Reach and reach. Now, take this, interlace the fingers, and we're going to hold this stretch just for a moment. So you can see why if we hadn't limbered up a little bit, this would be very challenging. Good. And just go ahead and relax down. This next one, um, just tilt your head. Just let the arms rest a little bit. So when you're stretching your neck, try to keep your jaw relaxed. Come center and take it to the other side. Good. And again. You can also put your hand on your arm. That actually keeps this shoulder from shrugging up and puts a little more lengthening uh, in the side of the neck. And go to the other side. We've all been probably sitting, watching a lot of news. That also gets us a little tense, so another good reason to spend a little bit of time stretching. Okay, I'm gonna grab my notes. <clears throat> So I want to make sure we get everything. So this next one, if it's uncomfortable to stretch over with one hand, you can always do this without. You can just stretch a little bit, or you can pretend like you're picking something up. So again, if it's not comfortable reaching overhead, just stretch to the side like you're picking up a book you started to read. So that's one option. Then the other option is to actually take one arm over. Or both arms over. So interlace and stretch. And stretch. And let me give you one more option. If you feel like you're kind of sliding on your very comfortable chair, you could take a wider base of support and that will help. So we're gonna to go to this more intense stretch over. And that just gives you a good sort of base of support. And stretch. One more time each way. So stretching, uh, you want to feel a little mild discomfort in the stretch position, but never a burning sensation, a shakiness, um, or any strain in a joint. And those are the ways that you can keep uh, pretty much every stretch uh, safe for you. All right, start with the arm out and just bend. Take the other hand and just gently push it up. That's a great way to get into this stretch. Other side, bend the elbow and push. Ooh. And push. And push. If you're a little more flexible, what you can do is take the arm over Use the other hand here. So again, the elbow's more pointing up as opposed to out. Get an idea of that. If you've done the, um, we call this the back, back scratch test for flexibility, upper body flexibility, 
it is really a good indicator of your upper body flexibility. It's not just moving through the shoulder joint. You're actually lifting a little bit up through the rib cage, extending the spine. Good. Whew. All right. Anytime you need to, just sit back in your chair and just relax. Good time to rotate the ankles. And this is one of my favorite. Pretend I'm uh, splashing uh, or tapping into this at night. I'm at the pond and I'm kind of tapping my toes into the water. All right, back to work. No, back to stretch. Oh yeah, this is a good one. So you might need to really come to the edge of your chair as long as you make sure you're not, um, it's in the way and take the hands behind the head. So one thing you can do is you can get into the stretch first by bringing the elbows forward and then lengthening the elbows back. You can kind of stretch your upper back when you're doing this as well and then lifting and lengthening. So if it's not comfortable with hands all the way here, you can always just bring them out to here. That might be a little easier. It might feel a little better. It just really depends what's going on in this very complicated shoulder joint. And relax. All right, round the back, lean forward, and go ahead and come up. Take your right arm across your body. Can be at shoulder level or lower and again make sure you're not using your hand on your elbow but that you're gently guiding that arm across your body you can also put your hand here sometimes that helps guide things a little bit more you can kind of play around with it see where is your best position and just stretch and hold And when you're holding a stretch, try not to hold your breath. Rather, inhale, exhale. It actually does add to the relaxation feeling of a stretch. And relax. Take the left arm now, cross. Again, it can be a long position motion, or you can put the hand right here. And just hold. We're not forcing it. We're not, again, trying to bully the muscle or the joint. We're just gently stretching the muscle. And good. Take a deep breath in and out. And take a moment and without stretching anything, just gently pull your abdominal muscles in. Kind of reset. All right. This next one, um, again, it might be a little difficult, but what you're trying to do is stretch your um, forearm, the um, these muscles along the inside of the wrist. And so what you're doing is just having the hands. And what's nice about this is that then it actually props you up and allows you to stretch your shoulders and your chest. Yeah, that feels pretty good, actually. <sighs> okay, all right. So we've done a fair amount for the um, upper body. You might wanna sit back on this first one. I'm taking this a little out of order because I find that this might be a little more comfortable. Take your leg and pull up on it. Now again, never hold on to the knee, just kind of tuck it and relax. Again, this is a limbering component of the stretch. Oh, 
On this next one, bring up the knee first. Now change your hand position and kind of try to stretch your leg. So you can just, just gently holding it up a little bit and stretch. And switch. Start by picking up the knee and now just stretch. Let's not have height. Go back to your right leg, pick up the knee, and now kind of, oh, just kind of take it over a little bit. So hold one hand, the lower leg, other hand, and kind of just coax it over. We'll see why we're doing this now, because the next stretch is definitely a little more exaggerated. Pick up the knee and just kind of coax that leg over. You feel this in the sides of the hip. Does feel good. All right. Let me give you a couple options on this next one. You might just start by just kind of crossing the foot over a little bit, okay? And what this is doing is creating a little bit of rotation, a little external rotation out of the hip. If it's comfortable, you may be able to pick up your foot. And as if you're, you know, going to tie your shoe. Again, we're not holding that position yet. We're just loosening up the hip joint. We never force our body into a position that we know we might regret. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and try to hold this one. hold on to your foot. You can hold under the leg. You can try to add a little bit of tension outward if that's comfortable in the hip joint. But you never force that. You can also lift it up. I find I actually get a little more stretch when I lift it this way and I'm kind of rocking the baby here. Oof. All right. That's a pretty good, that's a, that's a big stretch. Start by just kind of bringing it up. Now, clear if you've had some recent um, surgeries, this may not be the best uh, stretch. So again, always know what uh, what your limits are. Pick up the leg, give it a little rock. Whew. All right. One of my favorites is you just come. Take a wide base support and lean forward. That's your sort of your start position. Now bring the arms up and gently use your forearms to gently push your legs outward. It's a good stretch. You'll notice that I'm not holding these stretches for a lot of time. Just kind of trying to get some motion a little bit of movement, some circulation into the body. Okay, so along those lines, now spend a little more time leaning all the way down and relaxing the head. Come back up for a moment. And if you um, um, are prone to have some dizziness, you want to take this a little at a time. You wouldn't want to hold your head down into a, sort of a traditional yoga forward bend. Back down again. And back up. Back down again. And back up. That's actually one of my all-time favorite uh, stretches, uh, seated or standing, is a traditional forward bend. All right. 
This one's not on the list, but um, I find this is very useful. So rotate to the right. Use your hand on your thigh to encourage a little bit more motion. You're pretty warmed up now. So you're looking and as if, if you can, look over your right shoulder. Slowly come back to center. And now same thing to your left. Again, just rotating a little more than you would naturally do. So again, we're putting that, putting the body into a more of a stretch position. Rotating to the left. And then the final part is looking over your left shoulder. So again, you're getting a pretty intense neck rotation as well. And slowly come back to center. Another one that's not on this particular list, which um, I get all my stretches from uh, the classic uh, Bob Anderson stretching book. It's, I don't know what edition it's on now, but uh, very common sense um, approach to stretching and pretty easy for most people to uh, follow along. Watch first before you do it. So you lower your chin to your collarbone. Now our collarbone is that kind of like a little half circle. Keeping a nice, good active posture, I want you to take your chin and follow your collarbone, your right collarbone, looking down along your right side, your right elbow pit. It's a really nice stretch for the left side of your body. I'm assuming that you are in now in this position once you sort of followed it. And then just take your chin and go back to center. And if you want, follow with me. Just take your chin and use using your collarbone. Look over and down into your left elbow pit. And relax. Try to keep the jaw relaxed in this position. And back to center and up. So, you might think this is silly, but actually, stretching our face actually feels quite good. So you can do like a, oh my gosh, or Hi, I'm having such a good time. You can look up as you stretch and open your mouth. All right, so I feel much better actually. Uh, I feel loose. And carefully come on up. And one of the final stretches is either hands on your hips this way or hands on your hips that way. Take a wide base of support and lengthen the spine gently. Like you're almost looking up at the stars. And do it again. Oh. Center <clears throat> and look over to your right and look over to your left, back over to the right and over to the left and back to center. All right, I hope you got some uh, benefit out of this and. Um, Next time, we're going to be doing our Muscles by the Minute workout, 20-minute workout with our band, uh, our loop, our ball, and so I'll throw in some dumbbells. So uh, keep moving, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.